hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'll show you how i made this fire simulation for my recent short film which you can watch from the card above so let's begin so as you can see i have my dragon the creature which will be breathing out the fire you can use any creature as long as it, it really breathes out fire so i have the base plane so let's just uh, more like add a few cubes which will be our buildings and it will interact with our simulation so just few rough buildings so our fire is gonna interact with these buildings so let's just bring back the rig and just gonna move it a bit near yeah so once you are like done uh, place your cursor like s s somewhere where the smoke the fire is like gonna emit from so i want it from the mouth and then shift it and add a plane rotate it and make it vertical like that and scale it down so that you cannot even see it and then just place it inside your creatures so that you can't see it from the outside um, just some basic and once you're happy with that now let's do for the simulation so go under your particle settings and add a particle system so if we hit the play button right now you can see it just falls down and it's not interacting with the player nor with anything else so first of all Let's just increase this to 5000 just for the starting and I'm going to increase it to like 200. Then under the velocity, uh, I'm going to put it at 20 meters per second and under the field weights, I'm going to reduce the gravity to zero because I don't want the particles to be interacting with the gravity. So now if we hit the play button, you can see it goes like a streak of particles. So we don't want that because there are there is like weight like pulling it down. So just I'm just gonna place it around like 0.4. And now if we hit the play button, you can see it goes down, but it's still not interacting with any of these buildings. So in order to make it interact, first of all, just select one, or you can select many, and then go under the physics tab press alt and uh, hit the collision and then <clears throat> increase the dampening and the friction and even enable kill particles so now if we um, click on uh, like just go and click on collision for anyone we get the same uh, settings instead of manually adjusting the settings every time so now if we see the particles interact so i'm just going to show you what happens if you don't enable click particles so they just bounce out and a real fire don't doesn't bounce like that so and we also need to enable collision and dampening and friction so let's just enable click part so we've got our basic uh, particle ready now let's get that huge fire look so for that uh, add a force field force force field and then this will uh, like make it go far apart even though our um, the object that is emitting it is pretty small so just place it a bit front from where it's getting released because it's not so sp spread out the moment it really it's coming out of his mouth so and then just i'm gonna do it at 10. you have to try which best suits you so now if we play this you can see due to the high velocity it just uh, splits but we can still adjust its position like over here and we can increase this to maybe 20 and now if we play you can see it's pretty wide and that's looking pretty good for a fire simulation but 
it looks like it doesn't look right so far so let's just place it a, um, a bit closer to the mouth like somewhat here so now if we play this you can see we get this but it's still not way like far apart we saw in the video I showed you at the beginning so shift D place it somewhere over here and then just make it over here and then let's just decrease it to 5 so this is just a widening factor force field so now if we play this you can see it, um, we might need to tweak it I think so 10 um, 10 might do it yeah it's doing it so as you can see it's pretty far wide now and if you want it even more we can just tweak the location for this force field like around here so now if we play this back you can see we've got a pretty nice simulation but this is like far yeah over here and I'm just gonna increase this to around like 15 yeah now you can see we've got a pretty nice fire so let's see 12 might do it yep 12 is doing it so I'm just gonna jump to somewhere here as you can see this is something we don't want because uh, like we have not changed anything in the uh, cache for the particles and we were moving while it was running so it hasn't like updated the cache so we might need to like go in this and then just tweak something and just let it go back and now if we play we get the simulation we want so once you're happy with the simulation you have got just bake it and now what you can do is delete these two because we don't want the fire to be interacting with this so now let's um, set up our fire simulation so go to physics fluid flow and make this fire and remember to put it as inflow we don't want geometry i'm gonna put this at two and then as flow source we're gonna put this at particle system the particle system we use and do not forget to uh, enable initial velocity or else your the fluid uh, like the simulation will not move with your particles so once we have that let's add a cube which will be our domain and let's make it the size of our simulation yeah that will be good enough and then let's just widen this so if we go into wireframe mode you can see it covers the whole simulation pretty nicely now let's just add it as a domain yes i'm just gonna leave it at 32 but i'm gonna reduce this to like 0.6 we don't want it to be moving like really fast i'm gonna turn on adaptive domain and dissolve just the normal settings and under fire uh, we can increase the vertosity like 0.8 and the f uh, like the flame smoke to like 0.3 maybe yep and then we want it to be on modular um, and then Let's bake it. So once you're done baking it, as you can see, it's it's looking pretty boxy, but it looks good. It looks like a nice simulation. Free the data. And then I'm just going to increase this a bit. Now this time uh, I want the flame to be a bit more so I'm gonna turn this up to like about 3 like the fuel and now I'm gonna do this at 64 and I'm gonna bake it so I've just paused it around like 50 frames 
now if we see it it's way better than the previous one and it looks pretty nice but we forgot to do one thing and that was make our creature as you can see the creature is getting engulfed by the fire and we don't want that as well as the uh, like the fire is going through our buildings and we don't want that as well so free the data select all your buildings and then you press pressing alt click on fluid effector collision and change this to one yeah so now if we like move this a bit here and then and I'm gonna control a scale now if we go and bake the data so I have paused my like bake because I didn't want to bake the whole thing and now if we hit play you can see the fire like interacts with this as you can see it doesn't go through the building but it around like frame it's around here yep over here as you can see yeah over here so instead of going through the building it's it's interacting with the building and we want that so i'm just gonna bake this right now and i'll show you how i shaded it so paused my simulation and this frame looks pretty nice so let's go into the shading tab and i'm just gonna add a new material as we didn't use the object and then quick effects and quick smoke we have to like make the material instead of just getting it ready made so um shift a um shader um not mix shader shift a shader principled volume plug the volume into the volume and there's one thing uh you can do this in eevee but i prefer using uh cycles as cycles has better like quality for rendering purposes like like for smoke simulations especially so if we around like 200 you can see we get pretty dense smoke but we don't want smoke in this i'm just gonna pause the rendering for a bit and then just crank this to one but i'm just gonna reduce this to around five samples for right now we don't need so many samples one and there are two ways to like um what do you call like light your or shade your um, uh, fire simulation i'll show you both of them and which one i prefer most so uh, first of all just crank the emission strength up about 0.2 then shift a i'm just going to pause the rendering so that the computer gets faster um pause yep done so shift a input attribute node and in the attribute type in flame so now if we have a converter color ramp and first of all let's do this so if you want to see what does this do this is the color vector and factor so now if we just plug in the color into the color ramp and now we see it nothing happens but when we crank this up right here you can see we get this i'm just going to crank, put the factor in um, i don't know what and why okay because we're in the surface <laughs> yeah so now if we do this you can see we got pretty nice looking stuff going on so let's just get this back and now if we just crank the black up you can see we can reduce the amount of fire 
a flame we have and that's a pretty nice thing you can do so just leave the black shader like that and then let's just make this orange and you can see we've got pretty good looking smoke now I'm just gonna add a bit of red as well just to give it more stylized look and as well as I'm gonna add a um, yellow just some bright yellow so as you can see we've got a pretty nice stylized look for the fire just by doing these two things and now if we plug this color into the emission color and then we put this into the volume again you see we've got this nice one so now if we just crank this to around 5 or maybe even 100 you see we've got this nice looking smoke and fire simulation I'm just gonna remove this and make this zero the emission strength you can do one more thing just inside the principal volume is just crank up the black body intensity and you've already got a real looking fire which is pretty nice for the look I went for for my short film I went with this and I you can you can always crank this up to 100 um um 100 10 okay 10 you get this uh if you went for 100 you get this bright overly exposed looking which is not the way i wanted to go so i just put it one back to one and i like this and if you want like a uh, to increase it you can just change the temperature to maybe 3000 if you put it 3000 you get this which is also pretty high exposed I'm just gonna put this at 1500 and I get this nice looking so that's it for the tutorial guys hope you found it useful and thank you bye